Hello friends, my name is Vinita Arora and I am Azu Solution Architect. From today onwards, we are going to work on a new series of Azure. Okay, till now we have seen the Azure DevOps, but now actually we will focus on the Azure. We will focus that how industry worked in. Okay, so we will not talk about a much in theoretical session because uh, it is more important to work as a practical session when you go to the industry and uh, at that particular time you should be able to. Uh, take that responsibilities of creating, of working in Azure, right? So uh, to accomplish that, what we are going to do? We are going to create a sample project, or I should say a mini project, okay? So uh, you will be able to relate the things, okay? So uh, what we will do, we will create a number of components which are required to be used in a mini project, okay? So you will be able to understand hmm, that how industry work, and let me tell you, we will cover end to end, starting from the uh, creating, creation of the resources and uh, deployment about the, we will use the Azure DevOps, we will, we are going to cover all of these things. So what do you need to do? You need to subscribe my channel so that you will be in sync with me. You will be able to uh, get all of my uh, uh, notifications, right? So when, uh, whenever I will upload a new video. So because this is not going to complete in a, uh, I should say in a 30 minutes or 25 minutes or 15 minutes, right? It is going to cover a uh, number of videos. But yes, let me tell you what we are going to cover. We are going to have a sample project in which we will have the Azure environment. Okay, we will have the user. User will, uh, what user will do? User will browse the application and that application browsing will be in uh, static app. Azure Static App that will be with Angular, okay? So we can say it will be a single page application, this one. Then uh, we will have the APIs, okay? So user will be able to interact with APIs via front end, okay? So basically front end will interact with, but that will go from the user itself, from the browser itself. And uh, we will have the Azure Active Directories. So you can relate in a mini project in which you have a user, you have a, you have two applications, uh, okay, yeah, uh, and uh, you have one module with respect to the uh, front end that is with Angular, and you have the back end which is in app services, okay. So uh, and you are need to do the authentication as well. For that, we will need the Azure Active Directory. So let me tell you that uh, how exactly we are going to play it with the. Let me start from the basic one. How we are going to start? We are going to start uh, by creating APIs, okay? So first of all, we will create the APIs in .NET. So these will be very small applications or I should say the one or two APIs, two API, I should say the one API in two projects, okay? So we will create the two projects and so, and uh, that will be deployed app services, Azure app services. So let's say one will be deployed here as uh, API one demo.dev.azurewebsites.net and second one in the API two. And uh, because we are going from the scratch itself, so what user will do? User will be able to access them directly, okay? And here we will create the APIs and we will deploy that via the Azure DevOps pipeline. Hmm? That will not be a big issue for you, but I will also tell you that how, what exactly I'm going to do, okay? Uh, I will tell you each and every step. Then uh, in the next step, what we are going to do? we are going to introduce uh, Azure APIM, Azure uh, API Management Services, this one. So now this time, user will interact to these services without browsing to uh, this URL. They will actually access the APIM, let's say myapi.azureapi.net, and then we will, this can act as a proxy. This will act as a proxy, okay? So actually user will call this proxy uh, this API management service, then API management service in turn will call these services. So we are going, we are going to see that. And this all actually works within the industry, okay? To, I'm not going to confuse you, right? I'm going to tell you the basics things. From the, when we are starting from these basics, then how exactly this will be developed into this, okay? So, okay, now after that, what we will do? we will do the authentication with the help of Azure Active Directory, okay? This will be Azure B2C Active Directory and uh, user will be able to do uh, to access it. For that, what we will do, we will create a, a, 
as your Active Directory B2C, we will register our application and user will browse, user will basically, we will create the flows there and user will get the token, okay, in a first step. So that token will be uh, passed to the Azure API. So basically, and in this step, what we are going to do, we are going to save these app services. Save means uh, user will not be able to access these services without any authentication. So now we are going to add authentication, okay. So uh, I understand these are the publicly available as of now, but we will do what we will do. We will make them privately. So these API, right? These API or these app service will not be directly accessible. So we will introduce the we have introduced API, but this time we will make it private. Okay. Okay. Now uh, in the next step, what we will do? We will add one more Azure Active Directory. So we will have the two Azure Active Directory. And you can, uh, we can say that this will be a multi-tenancy system. So I should say that we are going to introduce multi-tenancy or we can say that this maybe you may relate it as a you have a product, okay? You have a product and uh, uh, you have two consumers. Uh, I should say you have, you have given your uh, product to two companies, okay? And user of one Azure Active Directory will remain in one company or one Azure Directory and user of second company will remain in second Azure Active Directory. Okay, and we will see that how exactly this can be work in an industry, in an actual mini project. Okay, but we will have a only one application that will be an Angular, static page, static application, single page application, and from that it works, from that itself. How we will do that? We are going to see this. Hmm. Okay, uh, in the next step, now it's time to introduce slightly, to add more component here. So uh, this is this is a virtual network. So I am saying that at this particular time we have introduced a virtual network. So we are going to add our these services into the virtual network. Hmm. So uh, at this time, user what user will do? User will access these services via uh, user will access these services via application gateway. So this time we have introduced a new component or new resource that is Azure Application Gateway and that will be with the Web Application Firewall. We will see that what exactly Web Application Firewall and how it helps us. Hmm. And then uh, here you can see uh, we have the Azure Static App. So here we will uh, deploy our Angular application that will be the Azure Static App. So what is the difference between a Static App and App Services we are going to see, we are going to cover, okay. And then this is the architecture that I I represented initially. So here we have introduced Azure Front Door. In Azure Front Door, at this time, uh, user will not call application gateway directly. At this time, user will interact with Azure Front Door. Azure Front Door in turn call, uh, will call the application gateway, uh, and application gateway will in turn call APIM, and then APIM will call these app services. We will see that uh, are we really in need of application gateway? Can we get rid of this? We will also discuss about that part. Okay. So we have the web application firewall. Web application can firewall can be introduced in Azure Front Door. We are going to see that as well. Hmm. Okay. So this is all what we are going to cover. And yeah, let me tell you uh, this important thing as well. This is the disaster recovery. So Azure Front Door will help. Why we are uh, introducing Front Door? To help in disaster recovery. Okay, so this will, uh, uh, this we are going to cover. So for that, what I am requesting, I am requesting to just subscribe my channel and stay tuned with me. Okay, one important thing as well. Uh, what are the technologies on which we are working? We are going to work, okay. So let me just start this. So I hope you are able to see it. So what we are going to see, we are going to, uh, cover .NET Core APIs. We will create our APIs in .NET Core. Hmm. Uh, static app with be, uh, Angular static app. MSAL, Microsoft Authentication Library, we are going to use for authentication, for interaction with uh, with our Azure Active Directory. Okay, we are going to use Azure App Services. We will cover with and without virtual network. We will use Azure DevOps pipelines for deployment. Okay, we will also use the Terraform. Terraform, Terraform in the sense, uh, 
because what we have done, we have uh, uh, created these resources. So Terraform will help us in deployment. Okay, so these, although we will see both of these things, we will deploy these resources from Azure portal itself, but we will also deploy these resources from the Terraform. So Terraform, we can say it's code, infra as a code, infrastructure as a code. So that will help us in deployment of these resources. Okay, and then uh, we are going to cover Azure application management services that I have introduced and Azure Active Directory B2C authentication. And then we are going to also see the Azure application gateway. Okay, so you just need to tune with me and uh, you just need to subscribe my channel and uh, we are going to meet soon. Thank you. Bye for now.